What is going on, Kingsman? Welcome back to the battlefield today. Well, we will be doing a little bit different. <laughs> we will be doing a live stream. Um, it just just because complications, you know, kids and all the new the new uh, baby on the way. Um, it'd be easier because a live stream literally literally is just me live streaming it. I don't have to render. I don't have to edit the video. I don't have to hit upload and do all this extra stuff. Um, and also, you guys can uh, comment, I've done a couple of these before, but you guys can actually comment while it's happening, give your opinions, give your take on what is happening, ask any questions if, you know, you feel like there's questions that need to be asked. Um, what I will say is if you guys really like these, I mean like you like the live stream replays, I will do them from time to time, I have no problem, it's actually in some ways easier on me, just because it's just me live streaming i don't have to do anything afterwards and you can still go back and watch this it's still gonna be in the same playlist um as my other ntw3 replays and it's titled just like the rest you'll never be able to even tell <laughs> that it was uh, not a live stream uh, until you obviously go into it um but let's let's fast forward while we're fast forwarding we're gonna take a look at the factions obviously this is gonna be a little different because it's not starting immediately like we'll have to do some fast forwarding and all and probably for a lot of you it's gonna be you're gonna see this later <clears throat> but it's good to be back it is definitely good to be back um i appreciate you guys being patient with me uh dealing with newborn toddlers all the fun stuff that comes with uh new babies or <laughs> new kids in general um, so as you can see here on the field, we have four Austrian players. Um, if you saw the beginning load stream, you actually saw the teams as they were loading in. Ooh, actually we can hit play. So it did look like, I should go slow motion here for a second. It did look like we have a six point Austria who it has guerrilla deployment, who is going for this town immediately to stop the rest of them pushing up here, the six-pointer. Ten-point Hiller. Oh, Hiller is a killer usually when it comes to that. Eleven-point Lichtenstein bringing in, I guarantee you, Grenadiers and Crossiers. And then Belgard um, bringing in troops on the back. And let's see here. We can actually go normal speed. Yeah, but he took it. But look at all of the Grenadiers. He did a mix of both Dragoons. I'm assuming he has some Crossiers in here. Yep. Some Karassiers in here as well. Uh, the rest of the Austrians obviously going for a very aggressive tactic, immediately going for this. Now, you can see the Austrians did take this, and they're going to hope to delay. Oh, come on, just shoot. Just shoot. Oh, we have heavies charging in, and oh, these poor, these poor guerrilla units getting immediately impacted. Yeah, they're going to break pretty easily. Now, we do have a 43-man uh, S2, so skirmishers. So, they're not, they're not going to live very long, guys, unfortunately. They may get a couple good shots off. Um, that's about it, and the French are going to push across the river. Like I said, the Austrians were probably hoping to do a little delaying action um, for the for the French. Now, they are, if anything, going to give these guys an opportunity to get some leveling up. Because look at the death already. Actually, they killed a couple couple units here of cavalry. I see one, two. Okay, they killed two. You know. Okay. So we have a grenadiers. We have some sappers now who are charging into the skirmishers. These guys are going to lose almost immediately. If anything, though, guys, it is not letting the French have a good opportunity to set up. I'd be pushing really aggressively as the Austrians right now um, just because they are focusing on this rear. But like I said, this not going to last very long and they're going to lose the it. Um, those poor Austrians, F's in the chat for the poor Austrian guerrillas. Now, there is a French army way over here. It is always a, uh, decision. A decision of what does this French player do? Do they go for a 1v1 or do they roll along the flank, maybe hit, um, the coalition as they push up here? Now, I do see a lot of cavalry just strung along in a massive line. I would hope to see them pushing up a little bit closer to get into this action here um you do have more i believe guerrilla deployment here defending this flank maybe gonna start harassing anyone if they do push up but also these guys which are uh pushing up hey what's up john you know i don't know this french army looks pretty cool like austria is fun to play but look at these guys 
I don't know, these guys look pretty stellar. I saw even some like guard units and I love the red and blue. Oh yeah, look at these guys right here. The drip, the drip. I like Prussia, honestly, but between Austria and uh, France, I think France is definitely the one who I'd be going for. In this battle, I don't know who I'm going for yet. I have not decided. Um, it depends on who starts losing first. I probably I always root for the person that starts losing. That's gen that general rule for me. Um. <laughs> What's up, Bleeko? Did you play in this one? I wasn't looking to see. Also, we do have Cowrie pushing up. Oh, man. However, I will say this. The drip of these crossiers, if they have the black breastplates, I love the... Maybe it's the... Oh, no, it's the Russians. I like the Russians. The Russians are very, very cool looking. Um, especially, like, the, the... I think the Austrians have some, too. They have, like, the black breastplate. I don't know what unit that is, but it looks amazing. I think the Austrians have one, too. I will say... One of my favorite Austrian units. Let's see if I can find one here. Ah, these guys with the helmets. Yep, these guys right here. Oh, I hear a cab charge, maybe? Yeah, it's it, these guys with the helmets. I actually do like the blue pants as well. But, uh... Yeah. Now, I do like these Voltigeurs. I like the yellow and uh, green-blue mixture. The next probably French infantry that I buy after the Swiss, I'm probably going to get a light company at least of Voltigeurs. Or Trilliers, maybe it's that. But I definitely do like them. Now we do have a true pronged attack. Like I said, we have the six pointer pushing this side of the town. Uh, this other six pointer mixed with ten point Hiller, which by the way, ooh, Deutschmeister. He brought some really good units here, to be sure. The Deutschmeisters. Holy smokes, he brought three of them. <laughs> Those guys are not to be sneered at. That will kill you. Quite literally, Deutschmeister is king. Hiller is such a powerful core. You always have to watch out when Hiller is being brought. And you want to find... The problem is it's hard to distinguish which one's Hiller sometimes. Now, they do have a lot of artillery pushing up as well. They got a 10-pounder, a 3-pounder. So, 5 guns total. Looks like artillery from France is trying to snipe them. At a seven point Austria, you can have helmet Austrians and helmet. Oh, wow. I did not know that. You talking about the custom or like the core? Look at this, though. We have some skirmishers sneaking over here. Oh, they're going for a cheeky little flank. I wouldn't put them in here yet. I would try to sneak up here and hit some artillery. Um, it does look like the French do have their horse guns set up. Ooh, the horse guns. Look at these guys. Wouldn't you love to have that uniform? It's like, you get the drip of the Hussars. Okay, I did not know that. That's pretty cool, actually. Ooh, we do have the first engagement here as Hiller is going to push it up. You have some skirmishers set up in front, trying their best to knock down as many of Hiller's troops as possible. I like how he has the Deutschmeister on the flank here, away from the front line action. And these skirmishers need to fall back. He cannot stand in a line fight for very long without dying. And there we go. He does pull him back. Now, this is what Austria could do. This is what I'm thinking. All right. Maybe this is what they're thinking, too. Okay, if France and Bavaria are pushing down here, they have a chance to either hold the French here and then encircle with Liechtenstein and encircle this flank, or they need to push to the town. Now, without Liechtenstein's Grenadiers, I think pushing for the town will actually be a little messy for them. Um, and obviously, you can see France is actually pushing out of the town. You still have this Austrian flank here. But the French have an opportunity here to actually encircle the Austrians. With France coming in this direction, France pushing in from this direction, if they get very aggressive, especially with Bavaria, Bavaria coming down this road, they could actually encircle and bite off a big chunk of Austrians, especially with Hitler. Hitler is the one here. Now, of course, they don't know that, but Hitler is here. If they can encircle him, that could be a huge win for them, getting one of the most powerful armies for the Austrians off the field. Now, they are you can see they're obviously pushing up line of tree. They have a nice little slope here. Um, but, of course, 
this little dividing line, this little like dip will slow down whoever tries advancing over the other one. Now, artillery is set up. I guarantee you cavalry is going to go for it in the near future. But these three pounders are in the perfect range to be able to really smack down a lot of French. Oh, look at the columns, though. I do like these cores for the French, too. I like the uniform styles. It's like the... This is like Napoleon fixed... This is when Napoleon fixed everything. For them, you know what I mean? Everything looks better. This isn't like the ragamuffin, you know, French prior to revolution. Oh my goodness, we have another Austrian line getting charged by more heavy cav. This heavy cav really could start setting setting the pace here now. That's a lot of squares. That's all squares. Wow, France may go for the wrong side of this line. Now we do have more cav pushing out over here now. What do we got? It's like Bavarian Chevalier or something like that. Oh, is this a... No, that's a Scar. That was a general for a second. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. Goodbye, skirmishers. <laughs> but the six-pointer can still push it up. They have a, an advantage. They have squares. So they actually can do something. I would hope to see France maybe use their heavy cap against... Hiller, especially since Hiller's troops over on this side can't square, and I would bet these guys couldn't square. You know, they look like they're a little cheaper units. Um, looks like Hiller is has a defensive line set up, maybe with artillery. Lichtenstein pushing up. Who knows where Bellegard is going to push up? He does have an opportunity to push down this road and hit the French flank. Um, with Bavaria pushing up, though, I would be very interested to see what they even brought because i know they can bring some very nice elites and also very nice light infantry but the line infantry isn't that good this fight seems to be in full full tilt with france actually making the aggressive play across the river across the river across the little inlet here i hope they have calf supporting this push i think they're gonna lose against hiller if they push out here i Really would like to see France be a little more aggressive, and I'm starting to root. I think yeah, I'm starting to root for France here, definitely. France needs to get some aggressive plays with their cavalry and infantry. Because so right now I see them trying to outshoot a Hiller, which is madness, in my opinion, pure madness. Oh, we have a cavalry engagement here. Liechtenstein going in against the French. Oh, France has cross the airs. See, France has so much heavy cap. I love using heavy cap. I really do. It's one of my favorite things to do. And right now, I, if there's anything that kind of makes me start getting all like, what's the word? I start like getting uncomfortable in my seat. If I see heavy cab not being used well, it starts to bug me. Because I took so long to start learning how heavy cab worked. Like I took a very long time to actually figure it out. <laughs> what's up, Sky? How are you doing, man? Oh, oh my goodness, Lichtenstein's general just got sniped. A huge win as the Lancers go in and execute him in style. Wow. Wow, Lichtenstein was not paying attention. Cav in the rear, take a drink. Now we do have uh, uh, Lichtenstein. Well, he was going to engage, but now his morale is actually quite crap. Um, so that's not going to be a very nice fight for him. Yeah, no kidding. Um, we do have some more cavalry maybe engaging over here. Hiller's cab maybe getting charged by some... Oh, that's a small unit of French cab. Uh-oh. Form a square. Form a square. It's across the ears coming in. Come on, France. Do something. Oh, they hit a square. And France is actually, hold that thought, because we have maybe a bit of an engagement in the town as well. Oh my goodness, everything's happening at once. France is actually pushing across here. You see Bavaria pushing up here. Hiller falling back as they see the enemy reinforcements. It is. I would not lie. That's why I've been playing it for so long. Oh man, just... Just madness here. France getting a nice charge, starting to break 
starting to push. Bavaria breaking some of Hitler's cavalry. The Austrians in full retreat. Not a bad idea, but didn't I call it? You guys, for those of you who didn't come in earlier, I said that Austria, especially Hitler, easily could get surrounded here. Um, oh, man. They are really harassing them quite well. Oh, my God. Gosh, no way. Another general gets killed. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bleak out. It's going to be up. Man, Austria is just losing all their generals. Thanks for stopping by, Bleak out. Man, France is actually doing quite well. Now, in the town, the six-pointers trying to push up here. Getting nice and point in the, in the town here against the French. France has some guard units though, so I don't think this is a fight that the six pointer is going to win very well unless he stands back and tries falling. But look at this execution in style by the French. Man, do we have. Oh, we had a crosshair charge in, but they hit a square. I think. I don't know if that was a charge to maybe save their infantry. Maybe, maybe not. But now the French are advancing all along the board. Now, there still is one. Austrian army that is still yet to push up but now with two Austrian generals guys two Austrian generals down two Austrian generals left the morale of the Austrians is gonna be pretty bad like really really bad here um, and this six-pointer looks like he is getting destroyed in detail not sure did he did he, did he crash or did he leave maybe he crashed or maybe he argued I don't know <laughs> Either way, this six-pointer is probably dead. As France is just rolling through them, cutting through them like butter. The slaughter. The slaughter of the innocents. The innocent Austrians. What did they ever do? Now, there's still some Austrian artillery left. Um, and you can see Bellegarde is running his troops. I hope that's a misclick. Oh, keep the cab back. Keep the cab back for now. Oh, for God's sake, don't let it go to the front lines. No. And I I really, really hope if they're going for general action here, which it looks like Liechtenstein is, they better have some heavies and a general nearby to uh, support this. Now, they do have a very nice flank with Bellegarde pushing on this French flank. And it may we may actually have some action here, folks. We may have some action. Look at this French line. They are getting encircled. Let's see if this crosshair unit can make a move. Oh my goodness, they do. They get the charge off. And the Grenadiers from Liechtenstein are going to push forward here. I hope. Yep, yep. We have general movement. Belgar pushing on the flank. This could save a lot of Austrians' lives get a general to pop a rally here they need it cab oh this is oh france no they charge their own troops in the back this actually is gonna really hurt them this is for all the marbles guys and i see some wavering on both sides but i see i think i see maybe french breaking hiller needs to get here pop a rally oh my goodness the mass round may start triggering and austria may have their first huge win here belgar needs to still keep pushing Austria going for some of the Bavarian guns. And Beauregard starts to start swinging on Bavaria's flank. Austria needs to start swinging there as France has a mass route. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I do love a nice executed infantry and cab charge. I gotta say. And we have another one. It's like who knew? But don't charge on the flank. Oh, they're going against some Bavarian reinforcements pushing up. France needs to start pushing a lot harder here against uh, Hiller if they want to make this this uh, work because France just broke in mass. Holy smokes. Ooh, nice volleys against these crosshairs. These guys are not getting a nice charge off. In fact, they're going to break against the square and line shooting, but Austria can still start pushing along and break them. So, things seem to have equalized just a little bit here. Huge loss by France. 
Bavaria is now unfortunately going to get the trickle down of friends routing. So he needs to pull out of those troops, get away from this French army that's routing. Um, thankfully for France, this line is actually running away from this line. So the friends routing is not going to get to this line. This line, France can push out of the town, which they are doing. They can start pushing up and start engaging Hiller's lines. Now, what I want to know, where was the Deutschmeister? Ah, he has it in reserve. See, he knows. He's a man of class. He has the best units in reserve. We even have more troops back here. Bellegarde has his general and artillery still here, but oh, man, we have more engagement here. Cavalry pushing up. Now, the thing about this engagement is friends routing is just going to keep routing more and more of the Bavarian troops. So, Bavaria trying to pull back, getting away from this line as best they can. Austria actually pushing up in the trickle down and starting to hit this French line. And all just like that, it would appear that France is losing this engagement. They threw Cav in here. Ooh, okay. Austria needs to be a little cautious here. A little fimming potentially going on, unless it's a melee order. This unit should not be able to shoot. This unit can, but I mean, I wouldn't even. You gotta turn and face this French line anyway. Let the Cav charge in. Bavaria, I, I, right now, if I was the French, I would pull back. I'd pull back entirely to the town, reform, reorient myself, and hope that some of this French in Bavaria comes back. But they are still trying to attack here. Bavaria is still trying to push. But Liechtenstein's Grenadiers have some pretty good melee. Man, look at that massive fight. Man, man just smoke, confusion, and chaos everywhere you look. Oh, France, come on, you can take this back. Don't just go into melee. Don't do it. Their desire to, to counterattack. I don't know. Ooh, we may actually get a nice volley by France if they fire a musket bug. Musket bug? Come on. There we go. But Austria is still throwing in more chevaliers. A French general pushes up. Despite the Austrians losing their gen two generals, they seem to still be doing well. I mean, keep in mind, they do have Hiller still here. Ooh, Cav charging in. Oh, man. That's a beautiful charge. Another square gets formed, though. Just look at the chaos here. The lines from France getting very disorganized. Bavaria still trying their best. Ooh. All right, well, I think it's safe. Fair to say that France is gone, and with Belokar basically in full health, this battle tipped in the Austrians' favor really, really quickly here. Liechtenstein still in a raging melee with Bavaria. And quite honestly, so this is, I think that the French should have, something that maybe hurt them is they weren't able to adapt. Um, until maybe it's too late, being able to pull back when they saw a counterattack. Um, when France was here and they saw Liechtenstein pushing for it and they saw the Austrians in the flank, I would have. And maybe at that point it's too late. Because if they turn around, then the cavalry gets a back charge. And I may actually. I have a replay where I'm going to put some clips of how to use heavy cav against the enemy to great effect. And actually, I was playing as Austria too. Brought two heavies, brought a couple grenadiers and line infantry, and just smashed through two French armies with it. Um, and, and that's the perfect way to defeat how to use heavy cab. Now, I don't know the counter to it, to be honest, unless you have heavy cab of your own um, or squares of your own. I, there's not a good counter to it unless you have an ally to help defend against that attack. I don't know. I'll have to ask. For now, at least I can teach you how to execute a beautiful, and also see the warning signs. If you see heavy cab massing up with the infantry, well, this battle's actually almost over already. With Austria making a big comeback, Bellegarde making it to the front lines just we in the nick of time. Now Liechtenstein got some, some amazing work done. I mean, he has very few troops left, I'd say. He lost a lot in that charge. I think he lost most of his heavies. You see, Bellegarde is actually the one. Yeah, he has one cross the air unit, and look how many men are left. It's almost half. 50 present casualties 
This battle's no, by no means done, though. Um, France could still be defensive. They could still make a defense for the town, use their artillery, use their melee. The cavalry that Austria has over them is only so strong until it hits a town with a bunch of buildings where you can shoot them to pieces. The only huge disadvantage they have is Austria has so many troops left. They have a little too much. And Bavaria has one or two troops, but they may consider playing for lock, but there's still 46 minutes left in this replay. Um, for general rule of thumb, if it's over half an hour until the battle's over, playing for lock usually isn't going to work, because the, the enemy, unless they really don't see it coming, they can fix their life. They can fix everything. They can go and attack those positions. And look at this. Look at going for the flank here. Um, I think Bavaria left too. I do believe Bavaria actually left. Is that or he has a last stand? Well, Cav engagement here, but with friends routing once again, guys. Ooh, actually, no, they're not going to. They're, these Hussars are exhausted, and he's pulling them back, so they're going to break them. Jackson may work really well in their favor. I feel like, you know, once there's a big play like that, you know, you have that amazing, like, oh, that's awesome and all that, and then, like, there's the boring moment. Oh, wow, that kind of went blind. you guys see that? But now it's just the boring phase where it's just, you know, there's not any, there's no, there's no thing to lose at this point. Austria has basically won the field. Oh, what's up? Uh, gig? I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> How are you, Ben? We have some skirmishers in the back, shooting away at some French. Where's the French guard? I saw Voltigeurs. I saw Imperial guard. Oh, wow, these guys are going to turn to face him. Where's the guard? Where's the French guard? I know they were here. I saw them in the town. I was admiring them for their severe drip they have. Now it's just an Austrian advance. Troops way on the flank. <laughs> it does look like uh, Belgard did forget. Oh, all his Jaegers, his best shooters. What's going on here? He left all his best shooters in the way back. Alright, let's hit a fast forward button here, um, just because it looks like France is going to make their last desperate defense in the town. Um, but yeah, uh, if we're evaluating things here, this was definitely... Um, oh, hold that thought. We have cavalry engagement on... Wow. Alright, those poor skirmishers got just murdered. But I'm, I'm thinking the French, they got a little too aggressive here, and Bellegarde was All able to running, uh, sir. make a nice flanking push using Liechtenstein to go straight at him. They had a flank, though. Bellegarde would have been able to protect Liechtenstein even if he needed to fall back on that first attack um, that Liechtenstein made that was so successful. He was able to actually... Uh, attack but like i said if he had if he had failed Bellegarde could have slammed into that flank um bavaria didn't show up that flank until it was basically over and bavaria probably shouldn't should have immediately fallen back um i think one of the most important things about ntw3 one of the most important skills to learn look at these guys these guys are in okay good <laughs> is when to retreat and something that actually in a recent battle i did not do too well i didn't know when to retreat and so i died um that's an important skill to have. Okay, I think we're starting to get into this town fight. Knowing when to retreat and when to uh, actually fight. Those are key components, I'd say. Let's see if we can see the Imperial Guard here. There they are. I think... Oh, here they are. It's got some, some uh, elite light infantry. Some Voltigeurs. 
artillery still. This battle's not over yet, guys. France is still gonna have to hold on. Oh, France. Okay, also, don't run troops like this. It is never wise unless you're literally gonna try to get away from the enemy. Don't run troops. You exhaust them so fast. I can't think of a whole lot of justifiable reasons to do this. These guys are exhausted. I guarantee you these guys are at least active, not exhausted at this point. Also, though, you can't do this. Look at this. That's three on one. You're blobbing. That's a blob right there. You can't do it. You have to do two on one. I think that's the rule. Unless, of course, you have a unit pushing the flake and you charge two different sides. Sure, you can do... Well, that's still only two on one. If it's more than two on one, it's a blob. And that's exactly, I think, what this Austrian player is doing. You can't do it. It's better to let you guys stand there and take it and bayonet charge them. I'm not saying that this French fight would have actually... This charge would not have probably worked still for France. But still, like it doesn't help when the massive Austrians smack into one line. There's no morale debuff because of so many units taking up this one little space. And how shock morale works is if a certain unit loses a percentage within a couple seconds of their line, they can have a morale debuff where they will then break en masse. But if you have enough of one of like three or four troops in one area, each of them will take less because there's more of them to... Now, how do I say this? There's more of them to die but less from each side to die, if that makes sense. So they won't get a shock morale debuff because a bunch of the regiments are only taking a few losses each. It's a lot cumulatively and together, but it's less. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? I know I'm not making this make a lot of sense. That's the reason blobbing is not a thing. If one unit charged into another unit, say this Austrian ch charged into this French unit, and the French unit volleyed and knocked 10 guys, that could cause a morale debuff because I mean, morale issues. You know, you see 10 of your comrades die. You may not be able, you may not want to fight anymore. You may retreat. <clears throat> if there's two of these guys here and they volley, you take five guys from each. That may be not be enough to actually break them because it's five from each. Yeah, I mean, Echo, I mean, it, there, like I said, there there's justifiable reasons to run. Like, if you have a small group of space to cover, but I would say from here, if they ran all the way up to here, that's way too long. That would exhaust them. And if they're going to melee, like I said, if the French were just trying to, like, end the battle and they didn't feel like playing anymore, that's fine. I've been me mass melee charged. I've done it before when I was like, I'll concede defeat, you know. Um, when it's a small little distance, but running all the way up and then going into melee when you guys are probably active, exhausted, or tired. Not usually a wise decision. Um, but yeah, this battle's basically over, guys. Did not see that huge charge going from Liechtenstein. Did not see it coming. I honestly was getting really concerned for the Austrians until they made that play. Um, France overcommitted, but I honestly, without having them use their cab to scout, I don't think they could have seen it coming. It's just one of those things where Austria just was able to outmaneuver and just did a better job. I was rooting for the French. I was really hoping they could make a play. They needed the heavy, the heavy cab that was over here. Should have been over there. But, like I said, once again, how do you know? How can you predict it, you know? Unless you're in a VC communicating together, it's kind of hard to do so. If you like Austrians, well, you know, Austria's winning by a long shot. They definitely won this one. They won the war. And who knows, maybe the Austrians were all in a pub together and the French were. But yeah, communication is actually highly, highly valuable in this game. So if one side was able to communicate and the other side wasn't, that could change a lot of the outcome of a battle.
Oh, look at the officer. He's like, looks like he's trying to encourage his men. It's like, come on, come on, men. There's no doubt, guys, the French had cav. There's no doubt. I've seen, I, I saw plenty of French cavalry. I do like this tier defense that France has going on. Uh-oh, a general's been caught. Oh no. Oh no. Get some. Ooh, he is getting some. I'm just gonna fast forward. It's just, it's just a, it's just a, yeah. <laughs> LC is gonna break. We have killed their gonna... generals, sir. Now they must. Friends break. routing general just runs, and that will be the battle. Um, a lot. Oh, I thought it was a lot closer than it was, but I mean, to be fair, the French were winning in the beginning. You know, they were definitely winning. They crushed the six pointer over here. They were pushing back the Austrians. That counterattack did well. Their right flank just folded a little too fast, and Austria was able to then capitalize on the mass route by France and Bavaria. This building has fallen to the enemy. A part of Bavaria. And, uh, oh, there's one of those left. All right. Well, let me see if I can pull up the results, too. Um, they do look weird because it looks like someone took a picture on their phone of the end, go end uh, results. So, well, anyway, guys, though, hopefully it wasn't too boring of a game. Definitely not as We've close as some buildings, huh? battles I've seen, but hey, you know. Um, let's see, this one, holy smokes, who was it sent by? Which one was this? This is Bellregard. Yeah, look at look at these. 349, 257, 189, 170, and then some of his troops barely got anything because they were sitting in the back, especially the Jaegers. Um, let me, like I said, though, let me, let me just pull up. Let me just pull up the results here. Let's see if I can get those. Um, they were on Discord, on Discord, yeah. Um, and then, you know, what's funny is actually I may get a chance to, uh, a chance to, uh, stream an actual game after this, you know? Two birds, one stone, kind of thing. All right, let's see if I can do... Here we go. Can you guys see that? Probably not very well. Uh, but we have Albert as one of them with 1821 for kills. This is probably the six pointer got 180, 93 kills. You have another one with 1441 and then uh, 960 on the other side. Wow. One with 1516, one with 1221, and one with 435 and 497. That's not a lot of kills. But then the other one's got way more kills. So kind of even, you know, kind of good. So. Anyway, let's go join a VC and uh, screw it. What's up, guys? Dialed. Okay. You see my game, Kingston, or is my lobby bug? Um, I'm joining right now. I'm still streaming, actually. I'm just going to drip over this into a replay okay. stream plus a actual plus battle a stream. Game. Well, you say that, and then we're going to crash. But no, you know. don't say that. I gotta restart my graphics too. Are we playing against some randoms? Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Nice chill game. <laughs> I just recorded a re or I guess I just streamed a replay where I was it was four Austrians. And they just rolled over the French game. near the end. It's quite brutal. Hmm. I'm not seeing your game, Matt, Bob. Uh-oh. Okay. That uh, might be mine. My... Oh, no. Let me see. 
Oh, okay, yeah, I don't see anything. I'll just re Yeah, there thing. should be one game up. Yeah, I'm relaunching. I'm relaunching. Cool. Alright, uh, Bo, spam Kylie. Get him in here. He's already in here. Wake him up. Kylie! There's an alarm clock. Oh. There he is. He has returned. I have uh, returned. Oh shit, you ping my pop. I did. Old man. <laughs> I feel like there's more I see people in the B and B Discord be like, yo, okay. Damn it, Kingston streaming. I can't say anything controversial. Fuck. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, this is not like it happens very often, okay? So guys. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> what you were about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out, guys. Uh... Hey guys, hear me out. It wasn't honest. It it was actually not bad. Was, okay, I was just was trying to explain. Bad. It was quite bad. No, it, was it wasn't. Very bad. I was I was no. referencing a movie. Okay, Kingston. No, Kingston. You're referencing a movie based off reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, it Got wasn't it. like I was I was endorsing bad things. Okay, I was talking about how huh? terrible things happened. Right? Uh, no, no, that's not how that worked. In equating no. it to the present day. Game's up. And no, Kingston, no. You can't save yourself from it. You accept it. They Make sure. Let me have, uh, talk about a true gamer topic. No, 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 Echo, you have no idea. I mean, I should say you have, don't want to know. Oh, no, you do want to know. It's quite no, funny. No, you don't. Kingston will be subscribers over You're it, not so. blackmailing me. This is not happening right now. I want 10% of all revenue right now. All right, you get five bucks. Base. <laughs> Actually, it's probably like three dollars. <laughs> are we are we imperialing again? Yes, we're going to go. Away. I'm not taking Ryan. I did I did play well last time, so I redeemed myself. Are you really, are you really gonna do that, Bo? Bo, are you really gonna do that to me, huh? No, I'm checking something. Okay. <laughs> Here, switch over real quick and check this with me. Kingston streaming with his alt account. So oh no! Everybody uh, knows now. Oh dang it! Yeah. Damn. Pain. It's a good thing Over. I didn't do anything like super shady when I was playing as this. Because then everybody's like, oh no, it was you the whole time. No, people just, no. Mm -hmm. I did Garden nothing. He's quite tame. He's quite, Mark Garden's quite tame. <laughs> and just like the operation, it's now going away. What? That's not how that works. It's going to go away. How's it gonna go away? It happened. It already happened. It can't fucking go away. It already happened. We can erase it. It's okay. We actually just watched uh, Band of Brothers, the episode of Market Garden. <laughs> my oh, wife was okay. like, my wife was like, when they first mentioned, like, it's called Operation Market oh, Garden. Oh, and I was like, get over oh, here. Oh, oh, no. Oh, get over here. Oh, get over here. Oh, get over here. You can look, check it out with action, but just get over here. When they mentioned uh, it was Market Garden, my wife was like, what? Why did you say, oh, no? And I was like, oh, you'll find out. You will find out. <laughs> Only the Brits got that got their ass kicked. That's true. The American Airport divisions did quite fine. Well, no, but even 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 the Americans, they 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 didn't. Succeed. It was just an opportunity to end the war. Yeah. No, I don't think it'll end the war. It would have ended it by getting across the Rhine. Rhine. Yeah, they got across the Rhine, so they have to push all the way across France. I don't think they would have been able to make a breakthrough though. They're because the main problem, the main reason why the Allied event stalled is because their logistics were fucked up at that point. Because all their supply bases were based on northern France. Yeah. Like, well, they hoped just, to do what D-Day did, which was paratroopers that did a good job and paratroopers that did a good job. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Ooh, Vistula Legion. Vistula Legion. Uh, I don't feel like we're gonna cast, but um, it's time to bring points. the Kylie, Kylie, do you want to play low pointer or high pointer? Monty's big oof. <laughs> People are so confused. Like, I'm still streaming after. Kylie, what point do you want to play? The same like last one is okay. Is it a high point game or low? I don't. I'm asking you. What point do you want to play? What faction do you want to play, Kylie? Okay. Uh, let's say just Flanders 9. You want, you want to play 9 Flanders? Okay, so we'll have. This is a high point game. All right. Nice. High points. 
means that the you just crash and burn harder. Well, no, it just means that it's gonna be a slug fest. Nice. Bring your artillery. I brought a four gun six pounder. These Polish grenadiers are actually pretty cheap. They're only, they're only 150 gold. Yeah, they're also tiny. 59 minutes. That's true, but, you know. I'll take it. There you ate. Yeah. Tyler wants to go for yeah. Should we, will we, be able to shoot? I don't know. No clue. Have fun. Holy I mean, moly. I mean, I that such good stats for these skirmishers for only 200 gold. Kingston learning that 1812 Lucy France is broken. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> On recording. <laughs> what? 145 for these? What? Is this even these chasseur chevaux? Kingston realizing the power of the eleven point. If you like, how did I not know this before? <laughs> Never played it. Oh, yeah. this is amazing. Why are they, why are they 36? What's going on? They want to cast ban. Oh boy. <sighs> oh wow, um, Mamelukes! No, no, no Mamelukes. Like Ottomans. Oh, it's it's Jack with his Mameluke OP whatever. And no, it's not OP. It's just Abscan. I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just quoting. It's just a pain in the ass. It's just a pain to deal with because you gotta play it slow because we don't, yeah. we can't. Shoot. We don't get to shoot. <laughs> I have a lot of squares, so. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. Do I have a lot of squares? Oh, oh no! Actually, we have like four squares. Yeah, yeah I'm not bringing those grenadiers. Or that guy. Time to figure it out. When are you coming, Kelly? He's not. Okay. Figured it out. Oh, he's not? He's probably just, re just restarting his internet. Oh, okay. He does this. Desperately restarts his internet. Oh, he switched to an Austria Russia. You can go back to Mammoth in two seconds. <laughs> I I'm prepared to be pleasantly surprised. No, he's going Mammoth. <sighs> People that do the same build every time. Yep. It's like... <laughs> Bob, has has now Bob has played this build for the last three games? What? Yeah, I have. Well, <laughs> one game doesn't count. I want to try something different. Bruh. <laughs> Guys, I swear, I want to try something different. Go with Mamluks and do spam. <laughs> with, like, like, it's like, like literally the same thing. Bruh. Meta factions are boring. <sighs> hey, Kylie. Got a ego. He's here. Complaints about meta factions, ghost cav spam. I see no difference. 
UK is boring shooting. That's fair. UK does get quite boring quite quick. Go Russia. Russia is not better. It's not. No, it's not. Austria is fun. Austria is probably more better than Britain. No, honestly, Austria is just busted. Yeah, Austria is actually a lot of fun. Austria is fun. You just you don't have a, you have a good hitting power. You yeah. Have good why is why ability. is Russia bad? I don't get it. <laughs> is it because you actually infantry. have to play careful? <laughs> no, their infantry is just super expensive. But some of like. No, it's not. It's like not no, no, like the Russia Austria. That's a good one. Russia Austria, the, that nine pointer. Yeah, I like. Right. That. That's my favorite one to go. Nine point rush is more. That's true. Though, I do like the that one. Are bigger. They're cheaper for I you. Like I like bringing the. I like bringing the Prussians. Okay, brought a boring basic bitch build. Oh look, guys, well, he's still well, going. Might want to bring more. Might want to bring more cap than normal. I mean, I have three good dragoons. Guard Capet, Odalisk, Lafrere. Yeah. Oh, I'll be all right. Should probably bring more squares. I don't think I have any squares. Yep. Don't wait. Want to, though. Wait till you can miss on your infantry. You take some mess. Oh, okay. Who else are we gonna get? Kylie's coming. Is he gonna crash? Wow. Trail. Well, I I remember my painful three v four game. Okay. Okay. If he crashes, we win. Which I actually have troops that can well I guess I'm L three for the most part L three L four but what's up James <laughs> you too buddy are you how how was uh how was the shift Kylie bot moment Kylie bot moment Kylie bot moment. Kylie, Kylie bot, Kylie bot, Kylie bot. Uh, yeah, I can't hear. I'll try something I've seen literally no one uh, do. This... Kylie is a bot. Maybe he's gonna bring all infantry guys. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Hey, that was the last year, wasn't it, James? Kylie, we can't hear you at all. Yeah, Kylie. Yeah, no, like, if anything, it not, sounds like, like you're a helicopter uh, or an airplane. <laughs> Something nobody would do. Places all line infantry with scurbs. <laughs> he might do like a line infantry army build. Like, why? Oh, nice, nice, James. Short row, Raggy. Kylie's about Front to row. Oh, we'll be fine. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet, man. Is Kylie Do we need a ping for another person? Oh, we'll go Kylie a bit. He's fine. They're not ready. Kylie can make his army pretty quick, hopefully. That's true. Jack is doing something no one's ever done before. No one's, I, I've never seen. <laughs> doing something no one's ever seen. I have to go spine to bring more calves. Nah. I'll just, I'll just eat the bullet. Why not? Why not? But yeah, pretty much, he's just gonna try and blob you down with cavalry. So it's fun. Yeah, only one of them is ready up. Wow, well, all ten pointers. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a slug match. But then Jack is kind of being chill and villain. Should I bring more than four guns? Uh, no, you should be fine. Just make sure you bring calves. Um, I have one dragoon C six. I have one hussar and one lancer. 
Should I bring him up with that? What are your roles? Uh, what are your roles? Um, Napoleon, the Polish dude, in Eugene. Bring the Regina and Muscadines. Are those in the Polish or? Oh. Uh, Regina are Italian, and the Muscadines are guard. Oh, Regina, okay. Yeah, just bring those two dragoons, and then bring some more like Cav. In Mus Muscadines? Muscadines. Bring Cervantes if you want, but that should be set. Alright, let's see here. You just need to make sure you have enough Cav that you just can't be like, Yo, I see free infantry. Yeah. And then remember, you don't engage this Cav one-on-one. -on -one. You always engage it with superior numbers, but since we're not going to have that, you wait till you engage your line infantry. Then you I, can, back I can have Polish cav Lancers. Cav. Or I can bring some Chevaliers. I should probably bring a Chevalier. Bring still. Dragoons. Bring I have, dragoons. I have two Dragoons. Should I bring one that? Bring bring whatever other Cav you want. Make sure you still have infantry and artillery. What's your melee? All right, that's four cav now. Two dragoons, one chasseur, right. cheval. Actually, two of those. I guess I could have not brought the Vistula Legion, but they're just really good. Oh, that's gorgeous. Zero gold bill. Are we coming? Should we ping just in case to have a backup? There's no backup. Late as well. well. It's not late. It's early. And late. It's late for EU, early for NA. Anyone else in IZ on? I don't want to bring a pub player in, but I'll probably have to case because I don't know where Kylie went. Yeah, I don't know what what happened to Kylie. <sighs> Bo, do you know? Bo, grad.
All right, I'm just going to open it up. I don't know what the hell happens, Kylie. We've had a lobby for quite a while. Hey, Bo. Beauregard. No, he's not even here. He's phased. Oh, you stuck playing an A player then. That bow. Nope, not least. That was it. Okay. What happened? Uh, just wondering where Bill Yard went. Oh, I'm sure he's just getting food or something. Maybe. Oh god, it's Albert. Oh yeah. I've seen him in a while. Yeah. <clears throat> I've I don't think I don't know if I played with him or not. He's a pretty good player. Mm, yeah. Don't know. against him but not really a good judge I haven't played with him He's ready. All right. Oh, dang, we started.
Bo, are you back? Beauregard. Oh no. Beauregard. All right, hopefully we're all in here. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, 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 all right, I'm left flank. Nice. And this is the UK up here that I'll be facing. Nice. Just what I wanted. Oh, I could push on you guys. Oh god, please tell me you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Yay. Alright, should I push this left side or should I go with you guys? I mean, you can push it tentatively, but... Tentative, okay. Just very, very slowly, using my artillery. Put my skirmishers in the forest. Actually, I could take a line fight in the forest and probably do okay. You won't take it, but yeah, good. They'll stand, my bub. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. They'll stand. Hard to tell on this map. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is. Darkness probably has a fucking 12 gun battery he's gonna stick over there. Oh, someone ready yeah. up. Nice. If he, just... if he does, we just go around, so. Wow, Bo, you spam guard. Mm, big time. Wow. 100% mm. guard. Yep, I see it. Spam pretty big. Meanwhile, it's actually going to spam guard. Mm, big time. No, I did it. What's that about? Yes, we did. I no. This duel. ER <laughs> Voltaire's Royal Guard. <laughs> I regret nothing. I apologize. 
Uh, you, regret every, you, regret, else, you regret everything. Alright, let's get the front of this place. I'm pretty sure it's... Yep. I want to know if this guy's like ever played this game before. Who? Jack. His predictions are, are pretty bad. <laughs> I think he's a troll, but like I can't tell like how old of a troll, you know? <laughs> he's got me all turned around. What's the age of what this troll? Be what could be it? What could be elder? Just the amount of times he said like this is meta to just like random things. Like that wasn't a really that much of a word in this community until, you know. Until he made it. Like a like a little bit, sure. I wouldn't lead with uh, losing a Patriot. First volley of 12 pounders might disenfranchise you. For the oh. either, either that or the three Luciers, and the Zone Patriot can take more damage, so. You talking about me scouting? No, I'm not talking about you. I think the UK wants to take a 1v1. Where's Gron? Where's Gron? Where's Gron? Gron. Well, don't give it to him. It's spread out. It honestly sounds like a, a him problem right now. Alright, but if you take a bathroom break in NW3, you're making a huge risk. Back anyway. Maybe this guy brought all Spanish. I kind of doubt he it. He might just be a little right. drag on these guys. Kind of funny. I don't know if it'd be worth it though. Okay, so far he brought really expensive cab. Okay. One heavy, two heavies. Spanish heavies count. Spanish? Oh, it's Spanish. This guy brought one UK and one Spanish heavy. So far. Can you please get in position artillery? Like, how hard is this? Very. It's not like I'm paying a lot for you, but still, like, do your job. The funny thing is that Russia being unprepared is historically a. <laughs> Truly. Russia never is prepared. <laughs> 1813, 1815, be like. I don't know about 1815. 1813 for sure, though. Wait, what? The king doesn't know we're going to war yet? <laughs> What? He has to be convinced by his generals. One of them has to lead a coup that's only tacitly supported by the king. Uh, I guess he's not holding. It's big sad. Big sad, but. Wow, this guy brought a lot of cab for this UK. I think Mamluk probably went infantry. He said he was doing something no one had ever done before. Has so. someone done that before? I've done it. Ah. Ironic. Ironically. Russia's going to be holding rear guard, though. Okay. Yes, ironically, I think I'm the only one that's ever done that. <laughs> Is played Mamluks, uh, mostly infantry. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not bad. It's it's just not better than Austria. Yeah, it's like you have some other guys better at doing it. You do get skirms though, which is nice. You don't really get skirms for that Austria. No, you don't. Which really sucks, but this guy really did, I think, bring. Spanish units in Portuguese. Wow. I'd say it's probably about the same level of effectiveness. Maybe a little bit more than 8 T roll. Mamluk general rolling up. Eight, uh, like coalition, you need skirms a lot. You don't need as many skirms. I know, because you can shoot. Yeah, you can actually shoot. Crazy. So crazy. 
start playing the classic maneuver. I actually may ignore this U. If this UK starts rolling, I'm just gonna kite him along this whole yeah. river. Ship center. Yep. Why is he so far out? What is he doing? What's there to be done over there? I was hoping the UK would actually bite me instead of run away, but he runs away. I don't think, I don't think a Templar ever wants to bite me. How did he even know that it was me? Unless he's stream sniping, ha! Ah, caught you in the act. Or he just checked positions. No. Or he just saw your gun. Mm, that one's a little bit I, more. I don't know, that seems, that's, that's a bit of a stretch here. So you're going down the right side now, Bob? Yeah, I'm ready. You gonna take your guns with you? What is that for? Why wouldn't I do the same excuse my infantry? There's no point not to do that. Okay. My 6-8s. Oh, we Ooh. got Mamu Cav up front. What? Ooh, got a first. Watch out, Kingston. Yep. Watch out, Kingston. I see it. I see it. Yeah, no, Kingston. Get smart. You don't want to go out there on your own. Yeah. There's no point. The man is there. Man, we'll they want to oh, those are you could kill that. Never mind. I don't want to lose my my good cap though. No, I know. I thought it was like a real mammal cap. It was so uh, not real mammal cap. This building has fallen to the enemy! Oh, what? I will take this one. I am always one, uh, one step ahead of this person. I'm always one step ahead. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, Kingston shifting entirely. I like it. Love to see it. Stealing a flank on him. Oh! Is stay there. Oh my gosh, I thought you said you'd do something no one's ever done before. I caught him in a lie. He might still be, he might still be. You he can might, still bring yeah. one big light cab and not worry about it all that much. It's just one light cab. That's a lot of... Currently there are three things, one of which is a general, one of which is meaningless shit light cab. Yeah. <laughs> Kingston, you're doing your thing again. What am I doing? The, the freak out over nothing thing. The panic the moment you see something. That is a, he has the huge panic. unit, okay? I'm just picturing it like crashing down on my skirmishers or cab. And just the death. Well, yeah, it's with big bottles, but that also means that you can only target one unit at a time. Just flank it. Yep. It's like nine morale. It's the 250 man one. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. It's just not good. Watch your guns, Mount Blob. This guy wants your blood. Wants it. Alright, I am Rhys Bolton. I'm advancing the Stark uh, Spears against the mighty uh, 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 Lannister uh, uh, while you steal a flank march on them. Cross yes. the twins. Oh, are we, are we just reenacting uh, fucking Herberon right now? Yeah, we're enacting the Battle of, uh... But this guy has artillery way back right. here. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, Sharp, you can watch, uh, Kingston's... Oh, I'll just here. Why not? Wait. Okay, guys. Sir. No, I don't want to hear... Oh, he's oh, going for my general, attack. isn't he? Yeah, oh, did he get my artillery? Yeah, he did. Really late. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh... Keep that light cab out. This is about all I need to watch. Yeah. <laughs> is this core? No. 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 Okay, good. It's the Battle of Wailing Wood. Battle of the Wailing Wood. <laughs> battle of the Whispering Trees. This is in fact not the Battle of the Wailing Wood. This is in fact every single Heilsberg game. Well, <laughs> with a twist this time. What's the twist? Take a guess. Oh, Jack. Oh, he's a pretty useful army. And he's in the front. Wow, they have a front line. No, he's on the back. Oh, someone's got this guy. Uh, who's general? Good job, good job, retard, retard. I guess I have to run that down now. It's not serious, that's what, four stars for them? It hurts. It hurts. That will hurt. That is tough. 
Yeah. This UK up. guys, I don't know about you, but this UK is MVP. Oh, what? Real. This guy is guerrilla units behind me. The one for my general. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, even that's not even gorilla. That's just a skirm. You, you nah, just he, that was map. gorilla deployment. That was definitely gorilla. You're just no. getting, you're just no, getting cooked. No, on. it's not. There's it's no not way he got over there. You, there's no gorillas you get with that faction. Oh, that's why he's spotting me. Kingston just got trolled. I did, but he didn't kill my general. He's pretty stupid about it. All right, you guys just stop. Uh, Don't get blobbed by Mamluk. Don't give Jack this oh, he, he said he brought something different, though. But it's I mean, not different. I don't believe it. Because I have to protect my gen again. You like this game spam, Sharpie? Mediocre. Seven scarms. Mediocre. It's not eight. Oh. You didn't get an even number. It is bad. That, that's true. That is true. All right, skirms only work in pair. You can't have seven. <laughs> there is well, a. Huh? I, I pair. I pair one with the three E. By the way, that doesn't count. That does. That doesn't count. That does count. Up. No. Uh, yeah. Are they marching back? Yep. You always run <laughs> pairs of skirms because then they can cover <laughs> cover fire while the other one gets absolutely railed by a cav unit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's my dream is to get absolutely railed by a cavalry unit. Well, Whoop. I get I think I get the rail of Russia, so What? That's so guard wants to get Whoops. railed by a horse. Oh. <laughs> Not even a horse, it's just like a skirm unit. Just a skirm unit. So, Ooh, like long sixty three skirms. He wants a cab engagement from you. I mean, so, the, the guy without a gen wants to cow fight. Uh he's what? There we go. Oh, by a horse. Yeah, I developed a horse. <laughs> I was in the 63 skirms. Oh, God. I by the Polish Lancer Guards so often. Average fucking there. mountain. I'm actually, I'm actually part of their, uh, I'm actually part of the fucking group that used to be that, so. Used to be the PLG? And now they're VK. VK? What the, what the fuck is VK? Landing Knights. Oh, that's the banner war. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty cringe. He's taking it. He is. He's like, all right. I have four less than around than I should. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> right, I just want to see what the fuck they got coming up. What's this guy you keep laughing at? I don't know. That was a while ago. Oh. He, he's laughing that he railed fucking... Right. He's general. laughing at his own existence. <laughs> okay. Understandable. Oh. One. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Here it comes! Hold the door. Hold the door. Oh, door. Fucking Hold lights door. are coming. Oh, here's Arab. Here's the Arab pirates. That's kind of cool. I like that unit. I'm digging it. Well, I mean, they're not... They're not good. They're not good at anything. They're cool when you play Ibrahim and they're the only thing approaching, like, real infantry you get. But it's not exactly like... He's gonna have three good units, and that's about it. I don't think he's gonna have that. Oh my gosh, no! At your goons. No. No, no, no! He's gonna have three good... <laughs> he's gonna have the 260 mania and then, like, the 130s. And then the rest is gonna be just mid. Alright, I'll just give it. Alright, Kingston, begin the advance if yep. you can. Yep, oh yeah, I'm already... Already beginning the... Beginning of the... Thing. The boom. Keep scouting the Brit, please. I don't wanna... Yep. Just see him arrive on our flank somewhere. Get your others... Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing back up. He was just... Pressuring me. Why? I don't know. He knows it works. Just kidding. Oh, it doesn't work, it. but he thinks it does. Can I get a cheeky shot off? Let's see, I have squares. One Here. camel, two camel. Uh, 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 camels, aren't, uh, camels aren't cringe, Mad Bob. I don't know, but... 
Yeah. Everything else about the faction's cringe. You gotta. You said you just want to stop on never, but I'm on. Oh, I see the guard unit. Ah, fuck it. Blow it up with Artie. Rats. <coughs> Visual lesion to the attack. Rush up. It's a brush up. I don't see the Prussian army. I don't like that. Uh, uh, he, he deployed late. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Matt says you have to push now. Or uh, Albert says you have to push now, Matt Bob. How? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, there's what? Prussia. There's Prussia. And there's UK advancing on my flank. I've told you, you have to push. That means you have to push. Up, up, HQ victory, do it. HQ victory. <laughs> do it to him! I'll do it. Yeah, that's in the bot the unit there. Wait, am I not supposed to keep pushing? Because I'm still pushing. Nah, you're flanking. Uh, Wrapped. Don't worry about it. I mean, you might want to send your cabin to the Russia, but I'm just saying. Russia you could just, to the just enemy. annihilate these guys really quick yeah, for yeah. very little loss, but yeah. you don't have to. You could let him play the game, or you don't. Don't hit the game. square. Don't hit the square. Don't, don't hit the that, square. No, that's pathfinding. That's pathfinding. I charge the mamelukes. What are you doing? No, what I charge the mamelukes. I literally oh, charge the mamelukes, and it ran me to the other side. You I don't know if you saw that. Charge, you have to give charge orders a bit super. You can't give them five seconds. Just be like, you can't oh, I found Prussia. Super. Oh my gosh, pulled it on my cab. I thought he did wow. something different. He did. That doesn't look like different. That looks like. The same. That's not a whole lot of cab. All right, I'll hit their ass. You guys don't, just stay alive. Don't keep going, Ryan. Don't keep going, you retard. Don't do it to yourself, son. No. Why? Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Man, who's holding it down? I see, I see yeah, British calf in the forest. Yep. Man, Luke's in the house. Mamluks in the house! Alright, well, let's go back here. Okay. Well, I got the wood. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but oh, I got Oh, Prussia it. is going against her. <coughs> they screwed up majorly. Oh, he froze. Gonna deer, gonna deer, stacks, gonna stacks. Uh oh. Gonna deer, gonna deer. No, you've already gonna deer, but. Okay. Is anything racist, man? Sounds hmm? like I'm racist. Who crashed? Racist? But we'll find out. It was Kingston. Kingston Albert. crashes are screaming. No, no, don't say that. It was Albert. Alright, Kingston, pull back to the I Lord called Bob. it. I'm pulling back. Retreat! <coughs> Run away! Do you, are you, do you have a position to crank these guys, Matt Bob? Um, yeah. No, he's just in an interesting position now. Because, <laughs> I mean, I can. <coughs> if you want to crank, guys... crank. If you want to fuck it, don't just crank. You gotta prank. Wait, my Frank artillery setup. Are we not holding this? Um, you have a whole Britain on your left. You're not. Yeah, kidding. you are going. Right. The Britain yeah, woke sure. up. In fact, he actually is yeah. real. And that's a Prussian grenadier army, so you're not going to be able to break that. Yeah. Back. My yeah, infantry is still I'm fantastically back. far away. Got it. Well, you could probably use your cab a bit with the AI blob. I'm going to. Because I have the AI in heart, so. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I know people who put it on impossible, and I'm just like, why? I put it on impossible. Exactly. I you rest my You are scum. <laughs> you are scum. Well, Failed. I love it when uh, I love it when the AI does what the player should have done. Our men are running, yeah. sir. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to watch a bunch of calves spam on my flank now. This is fun. You're good. Set your guns up. Come to the left. You're fine. You got woods to cut. I'm just grumpy because I was going to make a nice attack. Grumpy. Kingston's grumpy. I am mad. You angry. Kingston angry. Yeah, you are going to have to play very boring. Well. Kingston. Well. You have to play well. Most of Rush is fucked, but not all of it. Not yeah. enough of it, but... Oh my gosh. Can you... Hmm. Okay, are you sure I shouldn't try to support I... that push? Yeah, you can try and get in here with, like, the Swiderski and try and kill some of this cavalry. Yeah. Uh, Bo, you have a gun? Yeah. But I still realize right. the gravity of the situation when it comes to, like, you know... You have two armies on your turn. Like, that's the gravity of the situation. Yeah. But Prussia is being super slow. That is Prussia. Like, they're not moving whatsoever. 
I'm gonna head out. Wait, wait, wait. The wave for the Britain to come up, that's why. We all gonna play a game later? Yeah. Probably. Oh, just DM me when y'all are done. Got it. I'll see y'all. Oh, I got a, I got a square I can form on that flank. How did he form a square? He's in melee. Form it. Form it. I'm forming form it. It's, it's formed. It's formed. I don't need to ask if I can get a square. Pull through my square. Pull through my square. He's pulling through my square. Yeah, he's pulling through my square. <laughs> Look at this. That was a waste of 10 cavalry models. Oh wow. Yeah, it's dead. I'm gonna go in here. Yeah, I'm going in. They're all tired. I just don't need to be something you said. All right, here they come. All right, so I'll start falling back. I'm gonna do the fall back game. Okay, it's a Russian review. Russian type, quick. Mammoth morale is ass. Yep. Oh. Mm hmm Curious what he did differently. He brought guards, he brought, he brought a few boys. He typically brings a couple guards. Oh, he's gonna, they're gonna be so slow to advance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this building heavies. has fallen to the enemy. The heavies. Pathfinding, pathfinding. Yeah, the pathfinding <laughs> actually was pretty bad. Like, I would have gotten a nice charge off on them, and then my guy literally, he's hacking. He's making it so I charge only squares. He's hacking. Yeah, pathfinding is being a pain in the ass. Alright, uh, you pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. We need to keep our cap alive. Yeah. Alright, pretty good. That's most of Russian dead. Good Russian cap dead. Well, we've got your artillery. Well, we've got your artillery up. Deal with the brain. Should be good. I should be able to deal with the remnants of the You have a Mameluke infantry, someone who's 9 point Ryan. So much cav sitting back here. This is ridiculous. Hey, do you want to move the artillery to the left side where the UK is going to be? Maybe. Oh, okay, right. Do you have guns for yourself? I have uh, three guns. So, I mean, I have something, you know. I'm fine. I just, oh, you know. Are playing cabins with the blob. All right, let them waste his models. I'm fine with that. Oh, Jack. Yeah, just shoot it. I wish my infantry could fill a gap here. Is quite horrendous. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you jack brings 5,000. Alright, I'm gonna switch up Leech, take those skirmishers against Prussia. That's Vistula Legion and uh, Voltigear that's gonna do their thing. Also, watch out, they may try to get Cav in our back. Drink. They are 100% they are going to. Will. They will. That's not they're like on the left side, if they're hovering. Guaranteed. All right. Kingston hold the left. Yep. Oh, stream with Russia. I'll do with the They're very, very slow to advance. So. Well, soon they won't be, so. I'm saying, like, we have time because they're just. He'll be really I'll slow. I'm shifting my other troops across. Get your skirms back over. I'll take up the space between the Prussia. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta hold the Prussia against the Britain. Yep. He's gonna form up in a massive line first. Let's see. Does he even need? Oh, he has one or two UK units. Okay. Oh yes. Look at this. The cab going to the flank. What? Hey, Bell, don't push us hard across the river. Have a hill. Oh yeah, we got a nice angle. 
Okay, push is spreading out. He's not all guard, by the way. Actually, a vast majority of it is not Grenadiers. Yeah, but, yeah, vast majority of it is Saxons. Okay, um, so I think we switch, go into them. Yeah, man, are gonna probably shift a lot for me. Um, once I'm at attack, it's on their way. We to go. I just want to take out this house first. Because... I don't like it. All right, Kingston plan is deny the left to the Brits. We're gonna smash through. Okay, so I'll just keep pulling back. Um, I'm gonna have to do some magic here with some cannons, but we should be able to do it. Yeah. Did you guys know that destroying LC gives you the Yes. Now, the only real question is whether or not they're gonna tell us about it. We'll find out. Ooh, he is gonna move on me. <clears throat> Time to ship no more reserves. I kinda wanna set some guns up. How does the Russia get his guns out of there? That's what I'm questioning. I got a general advance on me. Should I keep falling back on this, you said? Nah, hold that. I can mm -hmm. hold it. If you can crank that flank. No, yeah, just wood. set up a few fucking nails. Just start shooting. Just start shooting. Like, start yep. shooting them. Yep. So, get your main line, turn your main line around. Just, you should be able to fire by it. They are just going to be Psychological warfare. One, it's still fair. He didn't bring any UK units, though. That's the interesting thing. Mm, a Chad. He a brought one. Chad. Like. Props yeah. to him for, you know, wanting to play a challenge. True ch a sad, even. Sad. Oh, they're trying to shoot. Cabin are back, cabin are back. Can you deal with it? I uh, know it's way too far away. <laughs> it's on the far left side. The answer is yes. Also, someone has some cab in the forest here. Hey, Point Espana. Far left side. No, I do have a cave over there. It's like the immortals. Uh, no, not not at all. Not the immortals. Oh, I know, and I saw the whatever. Gendarms, the cat alone, are not the immortals. I know, I just missed that. Miss that. Miss red, miss red. Oh, oh wow, he has way more. Oh, he brought UK. Oh yes, he's doing it, guys. He's going for my flank. Nice. Shuttle time. All right, you just gotta hold on, Kingston. Mm -hmm. Now Bob's gonna crank though, these guys. Why are my men running? Oh, what happened? Oh, more brick cat. Why are you running? Who gets artillery pushed up to the front line? We could probably smack Russia. I mean, they're an AI app. We will here in a second. We will here in a second. The line's not even good out. Right. There we go. Fucking up. Now you hit this. Alright, there's the rush. I'm right there.
Ooh, we can get that artillery, hopefully. So that will actually be a problem. Yeah, but I'm trying to keep all of my cavalry alive, so I'm not gonna just rush straight into that. Here it is. No, we just need to play it slow against the enemy. Don't, don't advance into those guns. No, Kingston, what the fuck I are you doing? On the right side, get the fuck out of there. You're not required by law to let him shoot you. Just felt like, yeah, I'm sorry. Good support of IMG kind of got carried away and kept charging. I guess I screwed that one up, but yeah, I got guns and cav, and I get through here. I'm saying like I have an infantry unit that's kind of stuck on your side almost. Yeah. Oh wow. I know. But I think it'll break. It's Prussia. It's a huge unit. Of right here, so. But it's about to break. Then I'll pull out. I can't really fight the uh, the heavy dragoons over here. Yeah, that's fine. I should have to kill it. Oh no. Or I probably yeah. could. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm gonna minimize my own loss of spear here, though. Uh huh. I understand. Alright, get him out of there. Good. This guy's taking a very long time to attack me in the forest, which is good. Mm, shoot the guns, shoot the guns. <laughs> and the UK is now, I don't think he knows what he's gonna do because he's, he wants to both attack me, but he also is trying to defend his center. Mm, my first slope. You probably can just crank a mass route out yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm gonna put down. Yeah, I see it. Man, I didn't, the mantle cab is on my right, but now it is, so now it's gonna crank it. I just don't want to push with all that cab on my right flank. Now it's gone, it's like. Yeah. Cab yeah, behind us, lots of it. All right. It's just some Mammoth City Seven. You're fine. I know. He's gonna. Yeah, nothing there is good. Yeah, you're fine. You're okay. He's probably gonna go for my artillery. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he's gonna do. That's okay. I'll wait. I'm coming. Hello. Ha. He's gonna... like, whoops. <laughs> He's just gonna pull right through him. Mm, whatever. Let's see if I can catch him. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Oh, the present, yeah. Yeah, what well, All right, we're starting the crank. Do it. I 
Had it routed, my bub. It's not your problem. Got it. Um, Kingston, how are you doing? I'm fine. You... Like, I'm literally fine. I could even help. I don't want you. Alright, we have summoned the Cav Horde. It is upon us. Although, I'm actually about to make some movement on the UK here. The Cav Horde has arrived! I don't know if you go for that, but... Eh, I'm gonna pull out. He's looking kind of funny. The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. Who's fatigue? Mm, you want me to storm across this? Into the Russia? Uh, Russia's morale is pretty shitty, so if you want to, I go ahead. I got big family. Nope. I can. I can. Behind guns, not above guns, not above guns. Yep, He's gonna pull through you. He's pulled through everybody else. <laughs> wow, crazy. Who would have gone? Russia's trying to get their guns out. All right, you die now. You have some skirms in there, my Bob. Go ahead and get those guys out. Oh, that was a terrible charge, my Bob. I know. Right, but didn't lose anyone. He's already being, he's being beaten back already. Man, click all your want. Alrighty. Next line. In. I'm sorry, sir. We have the proper facilities. <laughs> I'm sorry. We haven't the proper facilities to take you all prisoner. Therefore, we will commit war crimes. Oh, look at that. Who would have thought? I'm <laughs> just gonna pull right through. Who is this, Jack? Yeah, who else pulls it right through? Yeah, who else pulls it right through with Manlux? <laughs> exactly. I never would have saw it coming. I know, it's crazy. Jack! Yeah. Really, I think he can go for my guns. He does. Uh, I guess that means I get to fim him. Yeah, it does. I mean, he's already breaking so mad for months, but... <laughs> like, yeah, no, most of his armor's gone. It's just a guard unit. Big, like, heavy unit. This UK is dying. Cool. Yep, and man, looks like a break on that. Who would've thought? Who would've? Oh, is he going? <laughs> he's timing again. <laughs> uh, sort of. I mean, it's, it's the uh, the big militia trick. You can't break the formation, so it's not really fem. The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest away. But it's it's fem. Yeah, no, it is fem. It's just it's less objectionable fem. <laughs> All right, we're going through.
I got my dragoons. Yep. Just, yeah, that's okay. Just... Oh, yeah. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Their pressure would have been hard to beat, but. I love the gen and better with the square. Please don't fem me. Please don't continue to fem me. There we go. We're done. Those heavies, those are the heavies. Man. I'll suffer, but I'll beat them. All right, UK's gone. Nice. Oh my gosh, I see. Thing that charging through everything just kind of make you match out. Crazy, I know. All right, mammoths are dead. They're dead, dead. I still have two fresh like that. Just point up. All right, turn it around. Yeah, no, Kingston's done a good job. He's cranked most of the, the last of this. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't doing much. It didn't look like it, but still. It's hard to beat Britain. We'll break them. Well, all as UK were in a forest that I was easily able to just like charge through and. Oh, crazy! Mamluks fucking suck. Well, yeah, we play awful Mamluk builds. Alright. Make sure I lost three units total. But... I have very small losses, but you kind of just pick by the horns there. Um, yeah, well, the, the thing is, yeah, if you sit on the corner, that's all I did was I just sat on that corner, as you saw. It was pretty cheesy one. I did a cheesy move, but, you know, it worked. You didn't try countering it whatsoever. Oh, Patreon. Our men are running, Ooh. sir! I see a UK guy. I got uh, a little Fimmy. Did a little Fimmy. Cab in the rear still. We still have to take a unit out of the house. I'll blow the house up. We got like half going. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna do some Weller and farming too. <laughs> <laughs> Are running, sir. Still, that's some crusty pull throughs. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, well, yeah, you wonder why. He's like, do you think he didn't pull through? No, I mean, it just makes sense now. Like, why are people losing to memories? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's just disregarding the game rules. Oh, we know that now. I'm just getting spammed by cab, but you know, it's not much. Our men are running, sir! Only a little fimming, you know?
Our men are running, sir. The men are fatigued. Oh wow, I'm getting fanned again. Dude, this UK has been f Not until the end, but he did do it at the end. So... He had so many units just hiding around. Look at this. Mm-hmm. So if he had played the game... Yes. Instead of whatever he did whatever it was he actually ended up doing. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. There's British capital with your guns over here? What the fuck did this guy do all game? He's just gonna hide in the house? Okay, I guess. He's gonna go up the house. Oh, one sec, don't they? HQ victory. Oh no, don't shoot them, my guys. No. I brought gun cab. Where is it? God, God damn it. Le Boussier's not here. Le Boussier's. What I really love is they can't say that it was unfair because someone crashed. And we'd already yeah. lost our ally, so before they did. Their pressure just took forever to push. <laughs> There's 30 minutes left, so... Well, I still had fun. I didn't get to see at all what happened on your guys' side, but... <clears throat> this UK way... Like, I think he was extending way into the forest, like, trying to go on a major mega flank, and he just never... Like, all these troops right here... I was thinking, if I put gun cav behind my imp, I can get more firepower in the base. Don't say anything, don't say anything. He wants you to say something. It's gotta be a troll account. Right? He is a like, troll account. There's no way he's but not. Like, for who? Yeah, for who? Who knows? <laughs> he's not good. No, he's, he's quite bad, especially when it comes to man Luke's. Even though he keeps posting about it being like meta or whatever. All he does is just man flip through. Yep. Through. People that cheat and still lose, it's kind of Is it Falcon? Funny. No, Falcon doesn't play this anymore. Yeah, but wouldn't it be funny if he did? Just once. Just to do this. Falcon's just online right now. He's it's not Falcon. Hmm. Do you think it's Gia? No. Nah. You think Gia would actually cheat? Like honestly. I don't think it's any of those guys. No. It's been, it's pretty minor cheating. I mean, like, he pulled through a bunch of times, but it wasn't, like, like, really egregious, obvious. They keep rolling around the flank, and I'll hold the front line. You probably just beat the front flank. I'm just... 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 I'
Mr. Incredible. Yeah, I got time. Yeah, I got time. Yeah, I still got time. I want to marry Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> oh. What? If he gives us a space in the forest, it's over. He should have just held the forest. Well, you're getting real close to Just keep him there. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here and let you guys just roll around the blank. He knows it's all over now. This is guard yeah, units. Oh, uh, hold your guard to pay. Well, you got the kill. No farming. Oh, look at the fam! Yep, he was filming me earlier. Smackdown. Oh, this is good. He's still filming. That hurts. They're generals, sir. Now they must break. I don't think that was intentional, to be honest. Probably not. Probably not. That's woods. Okay, where's the last unit it. left? That's it. And farming time. It's, actually, I'm not saving this replay. Why did I click that button? Mm. No. Oh, regard carry? Hey, hey. Hey. Beauregard Farm, Prussia. Beauregard Farm? All these yeah, are actually kills, 600 okay. man un Memlick mem unit. Oh my gosh, my Dragoons. Yeah, 232 kills. Okay, this guard battle is pretty awesome. So good. <laughs> I was kind of messing the cabins when everything was good. Nothing else really happened. They blew all their heavy cab fighting that blob. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Mamelukes are a throw for your teammates. Uh, like usually, I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> it has to be said. It has to be said. Also did that thing I hate people doing to me, which is parking my cab right on the corner of a UK square. And you just sat there not able to shoot, and I just tore them apart with my skirms. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. It's fair and valid. And then as soon as he ran away, I charged him. Because <laughs> I was like, eight feet away. It was beautiful. Alright guys, well thank you all for joining me for a replay and a battle. So two things, you know. It's fun. Um, I'll try to do more of this, but until the next time guys.